let us consider a pipe with different sections a and b let this section be a and this section be b definitely they have different cross sectional area let a fluid be flowing through the section a like this this is the volume of the fluid flowing through the section a let let us consider small letter a1 be the cross sectional area of the section a v1 be the velocity of the fluid flowing through the section a and rho1 be the density of the fluid now this fluid will reach the section b and the cross sectional area at the section b is less than that at a we have let us assume let us assume the cross sectional area at b b a2 the velocity at b b b2 and the density of the fluid be rho2 now we have mass of the liquid mass of the liquid flowing through flowing through section a let's call that as m1 we have mass is equal to volume into density volume in the section a into density we have again volume is equal to area base area into height or area into length see let delta t be the time taken by the fluid to reach from this point let's call p to let's call this q let delta t be the time taken by the fluid to move from p to q then we have the length of pq pq is equal to volume into sorry velocity into time v1 delta t and that's our length length pq and we have volume is equal to area into we have volume equal to base area into length or base area into pq so this volume will be a1 that is base area into length length we got as v1 delta t density at the section a is rho 1 so that's our mass m1 let's call that as equation number one similarly mass of the fluid mass of the fluid or mass of the liquid flowing through the through the section b let's call that as m2 we have again volume of the sorry volume into density that is volume of the fluid at b into density density at b let's call here density at a here density at b we have volume is equal to here delta t is the time taken then we have uh, let's call that pq rs we have rs is equal to velocity into time so that's the length so uh, cross sectional area a2 area into base area into length is the volume so v2 delta t density at b we took that as rho2 clear now by the conservation of the mass mass can neither be created nor be destroyed so mass at the section we have by the law of conservation of mass mass at the section a that is m1 equal to m2 also the fluid is incompressible incompressible means the fluid can't be compressed which means the density remains the same that is rho1 equal to rho2 we are just taking we are just considering the case of incompressible non viscous fluid so the density remains the same so here you can write m1 is equal to a1 v1 delta t rho1 is equal to a2 v2 delta t rho2 so you can cancel this delta t and delta t also rho1 equal to rho2 so you can cancel this one also implies 
a1 v1 equal to a2 v2. This relation is called the equation of continuity or you can write this as a v area the velocity the area of the cross section times the velocity of the fluid through that area always remains a constant and this is called the equation of continuity. 